Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And in today's video, we are comparing the Kyrie 4 and the Harden 2s. Let's get it. So some of you guys have already watched our performance review on the Harden Volume 2. And as you know, we changed our rating system in that video as well. We've also done the same here with our comparison and just tweaked it just a little bit. So before we get started, Flo, let them know. <clears throat> Quick disclaimer, in our performance reviews, we are focused solely on how she performs. However, in our comparisons, we compare each aspect of both shoes and give you our opinion on which is better. We do not score the price and aesthetics of a shoe in our performance reviews, but they are key factors in our comparisons. This means that a shoe could have a higher score than another, but for sure in our comparisons. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So starting out, talking about price. The Kyrie 4 comes in at a pretty nice 105 pounds. Whereas the Harden 2s come in at 130 pounds. So straight off the bat, there's a point that goes straight to the carry. Quick one, quick first quarter. So next up, we're talking about the aesthetics of each shoe. Now, obviously the most subjective. However, the Kyrie's got it. The Kyrie 4 comes in strong with this one. These teeth, the colorways that we've seen so far, that's light, surely. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm have to agree. These do be clean though, but yeah, the, the point goes to the carry. There's some sexy colorways of the Harden coming out, but the point goes to the carry. So next up, talking about the traction, the Harden Volume 2s, what we have is this earth shattering traction pattern, which performed amazingly on court. I was really skeptical as to how it would perform, but the traction did an amazing job. A little bit inconsistent on some floors, caught a lot of dust, but all in all, the traction was very good. Over here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that Staircase Tetris modified herringbone, which as you guys know, performs like an absolute beast. Had that bite, had that squeak. It's, it's, it's a no brainer. Let's come on, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Let's move on, really. So moving swiftly on into cushion, here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that brand new Cushlon and Zoom bag setup, which performed really well. What we've wanted in the Kyrie for so long, felt really nice. What can I say? Really, really nice. Over here in the Harden 2, we have life. Life itself is in the Harden 2's. Boost, ladies and gentlemen. It's one. I'm not even gonna argue. I'm not even gonna talk to Timmy too tough about which is better and compare the two too tough. It doesn't matter what comes next to Boost. Boost will win. Let's go. <laughs> Moving on to the fit of the Harden Volume 2's. What we have is this neoprene inner booty, along with this adaptive lacing system. Now the fit is something that let the shoe down in the shoe because we have this elastic band which is like a one size fits all elastic band that pinches your foot a little bit. All in all the fit was good but it wasn't great. So over here in the Kyrie 4 we've got a great fitting shoe thanks to the engineered mesh in the forefoot and the synthetic materials back here in the ankle. Holds the foot really well, felt great on foot, couldn't say I felt any pinching or anything like that. So if you're asking me it's going to go to the Kyrie. Ooh bars but look. So talking about the materials in the Harden 2s, what we have is this forged fiber mesh in the forefoot area and then these synthetics around the heel. The materials are really nice. I was surprised actually because I'm not a huge fan of mesh, but they have these TPU yarns intertwined in the mesh so it does feel nice on foot. So thanks to that forged fiber and the synthetics, the shoe is quite durable. So yeah, the, the, the materials in this shoe are really good. The materials in the Kyrie 4 consist of that engineered mesh in the forefoot backed by nylon and then synthetic materials over in the back. Now I say synthetic materials because it's changed between suede, it has levers and all sorts of other materials, but all work really, really well. The levers we've seen are quite soft, the synthetic also is quite soft and feel really good on feet. If we're talking durability, both materials do as best as they can. But if we're talking which is better, I have to give it to the Harden. Yeah, 100%. So talking about the support in the Harden Volume 2s, what we have is the stabilizer, which actually helps with lateral support in the Harden Volume 2s. We also have an internal heel counter, which prevents heel slippage. And we also have this elastic band, which does feel annoying on foot, but does a good job of locking your foot down as well. And the inner booty provides with that lockdown as well. It's that triple threat support system in the Harden Volume 2s, which does an amazing job of locking your foot down and making your foot feel secure. Over here in the Kyrie 4, We've got fly wire cables in the forefoot to make sure you're held down there, along with those materials in the back to make sure the ankle area is locked in as well, along with a heel counter in the back. And if we're talking the shape of the shoe, gives us that really nice outrigger to help with lateral support as well. So we've kind of got four aspects here in the Kyrie, which does the trick for sure. So looking at the support in both shoes, I think the point will go to the Harden. I think both shoes do an amazing job, but the Harden just edges it a little bit. So as you guys can see, the score is 4-3 to the Kyrie 4. So the Kyrie 4 comes out on top yet again. Congratulations. And of course, yes, the Kyrie 4 comes out on top, 
but by no means the Harden Volume 2 a bad shoe. I would still definitely recommend this shoe if this is something that you're looking to buy. So all right guys, that's it from us. As always, like this video. I did the fun thing again. Like this video if you like this video and comment down below if you're feeling the Harden Volume 2 or the Kyrie 4. If you agreed with us, if you didn't, we'd love to know. Don't forget to follow your boys on Instagram at purekicks.ig and on Twitter as well at purekicks underscore TW. And as always, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get more from Pure Kicks, comparisons, performance reviews, NBA talks and all that good stuff and all those good times. So that's it from us. This is the Kyrie 4. This is the Harden Volume 2s. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.